here was a meme I was late to, which was the she's a 10, but Ooh. I didn't understand it. I don't get it, but I'm recreating the feminist version of it. Here we go. She's a 10 feminist edition. Kate, what was this meme? The she's a 10. It was like, I'm trying to think of some good examples, but it was like, she's a 10 and then plus some deal breaker quality. I kind of tuned most of it out. So I don't really have any good examples of jokes, but there were some funny ones. I hate the like rating people on a one to 10 scale thing. So I kind of. Right, 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 right. It was, it was a little silly, but I also thought we could do it in. I thought about it for a while and I was like, she's a 10 feminist edition just means us calling out every Fox News anchor who is legitimate. A ten butt. <laughs> <laughs> like it's always 10 butt. It's like a 10 butt you actively propagandize to be a second class citizen. To yeah. be only reduced to a 10. A 10 but you will literally only ever be a 10. That's all yeah. you'll be. I saw Kaylee McEnany on a train once when I was on my way to DC. She was traveling also in coach class, weirdly, but uh, <laughs> I think I've never, I mean, it was just crazy because she's so stunningly beautiful. I just one of the most evil people in the country. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it, and like just nonstop, like diarrhea out coming out of her mouth. Uh, yeah. And no. nothing but propaganda. But like, what is that? Like, why? Um, you know you could skate by on your good looks and not be a piece of shit. Yeah, is that I mean, like she is. She could easily have been just like a, an actress or something, you know, or right. even a regular news person, not not a fashion news person. Exactly, not a fashion one. Um, so I said uh, she's a ten. This is my version. She's a ten, but Murdoch signs her paychecks. I love it. I'm supposed to do one. If you have, if you would like, yes. Okay. Or you could do um, he's a 10, but I, I do want to, we'll put caveats on that. Okay. Um, she's a 10, but she thinks that the Dobbs decision is a victory for the family. <laughs> the sanctity. The sanctity of the family. <laughs> yeah. She's a, she, she's a 10, but she's a turf. <laughs> <laughs> That's a perfect one. Yeah. Uh, and very true. She's a 10. Mine is she's a 10, but she's got a yellow heart next to her name. And it doesn't mean she's part of the beehive. Oh, gosh. Yeah. She's a 10, but she campaigned for Connor Lamb. <laughs> um, she's a 10. <laughs> oh, go ahead. I'm go, I was going to say she's a 10, but she didn't resign from the highest court in the land when she should have. Yeah, she's a 10 and she didn't even do it when she had terminal cancer. <laughs> oh, Ruth. Like, like when I was at the marches and people were like, Ruth sent us. I'm like, meh, meh. Like, yeah. bless her legacy. She fought very hard. Yes, a little, you know, didn't stick the landing. Oh, I will shit talk RBG these days. I mean, you know. Definitely, she did some good stuff, but I mean, the idea that people are still defending her decision not to retire, like in light of what happened, what the hell, man? You know, yeah. you can have, she's a 10, but she's an RPG apologist at this point. <laughs> so awesome. uh, she's a 10, but she thinks women can control their semen intake. JK, uh, yeah. she's like a three. Yeah, she's a 10, but she thinks Johnny Depp is a helpless victim. <laughs> okay, she's a 10, but she thinks Amber Heard is 150% telling the truth. Because I have to say, that's also the other end of the spectrum. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> that, that, I mean, there's for sure some psycho Amber Heard people, but the Johnny Depp thing was like a, a paid influencer campaign which was really weird that was very strange <laughs> the court tv really had like a fucking moment in like a great month they just had 
I, you know, they were like, is this my time? You know what I mean? All these people were like, should I change my hair? Like it was very the, the, every goddamn day. I do want to say that there is he's attends, but my favorite tweet about this is from shenanigans love who writes he's a 10, but no, no man is a 10. This is propaganda. Please educate yourself. Yeah, definitely. I think that, um, yeah, it's hard to imagine like even being attracted to a guy who's like a 10 because uh, I don't know. There's just like something about a guy who's a 10 where it's like, well, he's usually not into women. So there's that. Um... Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's a big part of it. But even if they are into women, it's like, I don't know. I think like we've normalized like women being like very vain, but it's still off-putting in a man sometimes. Yeah, That's yeah. Like That's me. interesting. That's an interesting yeah. like defense of va of male vanity of like, you know, because I totally agree with you. Like I can't, I couldn't be with anyone who was like too into the way they looked. Yeah, um, exactly. Or like who really knew that they were hot. Um, I don't, I just, I'm like, I used to have like a joke. It wasn't a great joke, uh, but it was like a like a hot guys make me feel like a, a praying mantis. You know, like I want to like fuck them, but immediately kill them. Yeah, <laughs> it's like like this is fun, but don't tell anybody, and I don't really want to see you again. Um, I was dating this really hot guy that lived in San Francisco for a while. He was incredibly like he was just absolutely gorgeous uh -huh. and i actually hated dating him for that reason like if anything he was he was like a good person and i i should have been more open-minded about it but like i would like bring him the comedy shows and people would just always be like why is he so attractive like you know like and i i just explain I your I face wanted, yeah i wanted to be the pretty one i guess you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> I like that. I wanted to be the pretty one. My he's a 10. Okay, we have to wrap, but I just want to say he's a 10, but he can't keep a condom on. Oh, that's bad. Like, I mean, the stealthing now. Such a, and so other. common. Like, yeah, that happened to me once in San Francisco. I was stealthed by a guy. And at that time, it was like before people were like broadly talking about that as a right. phenomenon, you right. know? And, um, now, I mean, that's uh, with this like row stuff, there's a whole other level to it at this point. I oh mean, my God, the wow. stealthy. And it's not even like there's also like, like gaslighty stealthing of like, oh, but it doesn't feel good. Or I just, oops, or like, please, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I can't keep, like, there's a million different yeah. ways that that happens. What's going on, Frantifa? If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it.